My name is Tariku Olana. Uh, I have Masters of Science in Tropical Forestry and Management from Dresden University of Technology and also BSCC in Natural Resource Management from Hawassa University of Ethiopia and Diploma in Animal Science from Addis Ababa University Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. And in addition to my education background, also I worked in non-governmental organizations at the local level to improve the livelihood of the community at the same time, the environment. After I have got my BSc, I joined Hausa University Wandogenet College of Forestry in the Natural Resources, where I'm interested to continue my practical knowledge integrating with the science to teach the students. So this is the map of Ethiopia. If you look here, Wandogenet is located in the southern part of Ethiopia, which is 275 kilometers from the capital city, Addis. And here is the, my college, currently where I'm working. The college of uh, Wandogenet College of Forestry and Natural Resources has three schools, a school of forestry, a school of natural resource, and a school of wildlife. And I'm the coordinator of agroforestry program. So the main activity of the college is teaching undergraduate students, the masters, at the same time, they started also the PhD program today. In addition to academic environment, the college is carrying out during this period of time the research and the community service activities. One of the main research area as forest management, non-timber forest product, and wildlife and soil and water conservation. In addition to research, there is a community service project which involves the local community to improve their livelihood at the same time, the resource conservation. This is also one of the main uh, campus compound. If you look, this one is the staff lounge. It is very beautiful and traditional. Also, uh, we have a guest house at the same time, meeting hall, when there is international and the national workshop and the training carried out. When I come to specifically my activity, there is a community service project which is carried out the project. My community service project is more related to the beekeeping. And the title says that diversifying rural life of smallholder farmers and improving nature conservation by introducing improved beekeeping technologies. If I start with the background of Wendogenet, Wendogenet watershed is three decades ago. It is the hot spot for biodiversity and habitat for wildlife at the same time the bird species. But during this period of time, do, because of the expansion of the community, the increase in the number of community, the forest resources is degraded. If you look on in the former one, it looks like beautiful and the biodiversity is rich. But during this period of time, there is a degradation of natural forest and they change the natural forest to the agricultural land. So my aim is, my professional contribution is that how to change this degradation land to increase the biodiversity, the forest coverage. So that my intention is that I start with to do the beekeeping. When we are talking about beekeeping in Ethiopian context, the farmers have long tradition in beekeeping activities and mainly depend on the traditional method. But when we are talking beekeeping, beekeeping is an incentive for the farmers to conserve the forest. The conserve the forest at the same time improve the livelihood. So we can integrate beekeeping we can be mostly eco-friendly, and also we can integrate with agricultural production, horticulture, at the same time, natural resource conservation. So, as I said before, majority of the farmers in Ethiopia, they are producing honey production with traditional methods. Some research findings show that about 95% of the farmers are producing honey with the traditional method, the traditional bean hives, mostly prepared by the farmers locally from the local materials. So when we are looking here is that the honey harvested from the traditional one is also the quality less at the same time the quantity. So that when the quality is less, 
So there is less market value. So it does not encourage the farmers to practice the beekeeping. So my intention is that to change this traditional method to the modern one with the better quality, at the same time, the better in quantity. So if you look here, then when farmers are producing traditional method, they are climbing on the trees. It is dangerous for the farmers also. And also they are hanging the bean hives on the, on the tree. So my intention is that just to change this traditional production system to improve the one, to improve the quantity and the quality and improve the livelihood of the farmers. What I did that, I discussed with the case about the project with the district agricultural office and with the community. I went to the district agricultural office to select the peasant associations. And we discussed with them, we selected the peasant association near to the forest, particularly those farmers near to the forest. So depending on our capacity and the budget, from the peasant association, the, the district agricultural office selected, we selected 10 model farmers, which are traditional knowledge in honey production. During our discussion with the farmers, the farmers identified what are the main constraints and opportunities and beekeeping activities. For example, in Wondogan the area, that still the resource is there. There are the water resources and also the bean forage is also available in the area. The main constraints are mainly there is traditional method. They have no capacity to buy the improved bean hives because they have low income families. After we discuss with them, we buy the improved ones with the accessories. I bought that 10 improved, what you call long straw bean hives and the Kenya model bean hives. So when we're comparing both of them, this is more productive than this one. So in quality at the same time, also in quantity. And also I bought with some accessories. This one is smoker, this one is the army gloves also. So with all accessories. After the other inputs are purchased, training was given for the farmers, how they manage these improved beekeeping technologies, how they manage the pests, how they manage the bean hives also, including the inspection of the inside of the hive and how they use these modern beekeeping technologies. So the farmers are trained at the college upper sites. So we, the college has an upper site for training and also they're producing honey. So 10 farmers are trained here and these farmers are also responsible to teach other farmers the, as the follower farm because to improve the productivity and also increase the number of the farmers involved in the beekeeping. My passion is that, my interest is that also to improve, to use this kind of methods to pack the product and they provide to the market, which means, which is the value added, so that when they pack and provide the market, there is high value in market and the farmers also interested in honey productions because if they get the better benefit, the farmers, other farmers are also involved in the pro and, and, and beekeeping activities. When the farmers income is increased, the intention of the project is that there is the dependency on the forest resources also decrease because the farmers go to the forest because of low income. So after they get a certain benefit for, 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 from the honey productions. This is one of the projects. So the dependency on the forest resources will be decreased. When I say that after I finish my project, I'm more focused about the GESA. So my future goals or accomplishment that I would like to achieve my community as a result of attending this event, oil exchanges are one, to train or produce uh, forestry professional to solve local environmental problems, to solve. There are many problems in the local, uh, especially in the local area of Ethiopia, so that these students, when I'm teaching them with a practical view, how they solve the environment, how they work with the community, how they extend it with the community, 
and also to enhance the capacity of the local community in biodiversity conservation. These linking incentives, some like beekeeping activities, and also to improve the livelihood of the local community by sustainable utilization of the natural resources. This is a key issue for them. So if you are sustainably using the natural resources, they keep the forest resources also. And also in the future to develop information technologies on environmental management. I have a project on use and applicability of information technology in tropical honeybeans. So that maybe if I'm succeed in the project also to develop information technology on environmental management, particularly the beans. And last to say that, not the least, let us work together to improve the livelihood of small order farmers for a better life, for the better environment. Thank you for your attention.